right so we need to so get the maybe account page url we will get it this one is the account page url right this entire url you can get it so this fraction i have i have stored in the constants based on the fraction you can get it see account account my account pays fraction URL, something account pays a fraction URL. So this one we loaded here so that you will get it. Okay. Then, so let's create that uh, public string get my account pays URL get my account is url so log dot info which my account is url so return Wait for URL contains. So constants dot SSC is fraction URL. Okay. So then you figure automatically it will get the fraction URL. If you we will get automatically. So next. So all the methods you so the search box present or not you can check public boolean is search edit box exists so return is displayed is displayed search edit box you can put the search edit box so you can write another one is logout exist right is logout logout is where so logout is under my account menu first you have to click on my account menu then i can check that Otherwise, it is not possible, right? Is logout exist? Is logout exist? So, logout link. So next, so we need to, but yeah, this one, you know, we, we can call this, uh, no, well, uh, calling this method, you can uh, click on this my account menu link, then you can call this, then you see. Otherwise, first call this, otherwise call this method. Okay. So call this. Then automatically it will open, right? Then you can check it, whether it is exist or not. Next, click on logout link. So click on logout link, public. So wide, click logout link. Click my account menu link and then wait for element 
So wait for the element visible, right? Wait for the element visible. So wait for element visible. You can say by dot link text. So you can just put a log out. So the L capital, right? So log out L capital. Then click on log out. Next. So we'll uh, do a search. Also, we'll do a product search here. Uh, here you can do a product search. Let's do the product search here. So, so this when you when you do a product first understand. Suppose Mac, if I do click on. So now you are in the my account page. So when you click on search, where it will go? It will go to search results page. So the page is changing. So that's the transformation is happening here. So one page to other page. So just you can observe that, that you have to write that. Okay, so let's uh, do that. Uh, so this product search is giving another page. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you one kind of another way how to return the page also, the different page how to return. So that is a result space. This space, it is going to return by this method, whatever we are writing now. So public uh, results space, result space, so which is returning a result space, do product search. Do a product search. String. So you give the product name, give the product name and uh, so we'll do the log.info first. So you can put log.info. So what you are searching, search for product and then So you can just do that product name. Okay. Then if is search read box exist. So then what you can do, you can type it, right? So then you can perform the type action. So log dot Info perform the type action and set it box. So that send data. So send data, set it box, and the product name. The product name you need to do that. So add throws declaration, and then log dot info. So you need to perform the click action on the search. Click on search start icon. So please finish and come back. Okay, all this you know. So that you can write along with me the code. So that's it's very easy. You can run the test cases on the. So this one, when you click on this, it returns new result space. New result space object it returns. Return. If not, return null. OK, 
Okay. So that's the, a, a method can return the another piece. A method can return another piece. So we'll write uh, tomorrow rest of the things and uh, uh, we'll uh, finish this my account detail space tomorrow and we'll uh, see that, okay? Yeah, thank you and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.